Hi everybody, it's Felisa. This is going to be an entry into Spotlight Sunday, and this is going to be on the case of Latoya Natasha Thomas. I am going to read to you directly from the Charlie Project, the information that was available, and then I'll share my thoughts and get into some updates in a moment. So Latoya Natasha Thomas has been missing since September 30th, 2000. She's been missing from Hayward, California. She's classified as endangered missing. Her date of birth is October 2nd, 1975. She would be 43 year, years old today. The age at the time she went missing was 24. She was 5'2", approximately 135 pounds. She is described as an African-American female, black hair, brown eyes. Thomas has a small scar on the left side of her no nose and her ears are pierced. Details of disappearance are as follows. Thomas attended a birthday party at the Bosley Medical Center where she worked in San Francisco on September 30th, 2000. Accounts differ as to whether the party was in her honor or for a coworker. She left the party at about 9 p.m. driving her vehicle, which was either a gray Ford or 1989 Mazda 323 or a 1986 Mazda 626. I was confused by that level of detail, to be honest with you, because as you'll hear further on in the story, they did locate the car, so I'm not quite sure why the car wasn't described exactly as it was in the, the plate number for the car. But anyway, a friend saw her get on the freeway to return to Hayward. She was photographed at an ATM machine later that evening. And shortly after that, her apartment manager saw her doing laundry at the Riverside Terrace apartment complex in the 1700 block of B Street in Hayward. She drove away from there at 10.30 p.m. with her boyfriend following her in his car. Thomas has never been heard from again. Her boyfriend reported her as a missing person to authorities when she failed to pick up her young child. Thomas's vehicle was discovered abandoned on October 5, 2005, five days after her disappearance. Her car was unlocked and parked at B Street and Watkin Street in downtown Hayward, a block from the Bay Area Rapid Transportation Station, or BART. There was no sign of Thomas at the scene, but her purse and her driver's license was found on the front seat of her vehicle. Her car keys were never located. An extensive search of the Hayward area produced few clues as to Thomas's whereabouts. Her boyfriend was questioned by authorities afterwards and was reported to have cooperated with investigators. He has neither been named nor eliminated as a suspect. No arrests have been made in connection with Thomas's case and foul play is suspected in her disappearance. Now, like I said, this is directly from the Charlie Project. Um, I was a little confused as to why the, the car wasn't accurately described. We still don't know whether it was a 1989 Mazda 323 or a 1986 Mazda 626. I guess though, that level of detail doesn't really make a difference since the car was located and recovered. I did have some difficulties with this timeline, though, because the last known sighting of her, according to this, was September 30th, 2000, and it was at the at the party. Then she was photographed at an ATM, which I'm sure had a time and date stamp on it. And then after that, she was seen doing laundry. At 10.30, she drove away with her boyfriend following her in his car. So the boyfriend was the last known person um, to see her, except it goes on to say that the boyfriend reported her as a missing person to authorities when she failed to pick up a young child. So it doesn't tell us where she failed to pick the child up. So if the, let's assume that the child was at school, who dropped the child off? And who, if, if Latoya dropped the child off, then teachers at the school would have seen her. She wouldn't have disappeared on September 30th. Her last known sighting would have been October 1st. If the boyfriend dropped uh, the child off at school, then where was Latoya? He was following her in his car. So did he go into the house with her? Who had the child overnight and who dropped the child off at school? Um, so that was a little confusing to me as, as far as detail was concerned. Um, and then, you know, what did, what did the boyfriend say about his last known interaction with her? Did he see her at night? Did he go in and spend the night with her? Did he see her in the morning? You know, was she acting weird? Did she have any concerns? Was there any issues? You know, those kinds of things, that level of detail is not reported either. Um, and then um, I know that, you know, 2000 cell phone service and coverage wasn't, you know, the best, but did she have a cell phone? Did anyone check her records or her messages? Did she have any conversations with anyone? Did anyone besides the boyfriend speak to her after 1030 on the night of the 30th? Was she heard from? Did she talk to her mom or her her siblings if she has any, her girlfriends or what have you? Did she not show up for work? Um, I know that it says that she failed to pick up a young child, but did she even go to work that day? I don't know if, you know, it could, and see the, 
the other thing is like I probably could check a calendar like what day of the week was the 30th um, so if it was a Friday then the next day would have been a Saturday you know or if it was a weekend where does she fail to pick the child up from so those kind of details are um, you know kind of ambiguous at least for me I couldn't make a clear connection between the last known sighting of her by someone else and this boyfriend because he would have had the last known contact with her so it was just my gut just went off so anyway um lo and behold as I'm doing um more research into this to figure out you know if I could find some additional updates um keep in mind Latoya disappeared in 2000 so in 2007 I came up or I, I discovered this article so I'll read it to you. It's from the East Bay Times. It says, a suspect in his girlfriend's shooting death in Concord last week was a person of interest in the suspicious disappearance of another girlfriend in 2000. Nathan Ellery Noel, 34, was shot and killed by law enforcement officers near Los Angeles last Saturday night when he pulled and fired a 45 caliber re revolver when they approached him in a restaurant, according to the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Office. Noel died at the scene a day after the death of his girlfriend, Leah Aikens, 37, of Concord, police said. Hayward police said this week that they had interviewed Noel several times in the September 30, 2000 disappearance of Latoya Toya Natasha Thomas, 24, who is still missing. We had no indication that he had anything to do with her being a homicide victim, said Hayward Police Lieutenant Reed Lindblom. We couldn't really establish that it was a homicide. There was no sign of foul play. Yet it was suspicious, he said. She vanished three days before her 25th birthday and failed to pick up her four-year-old daughter. On September 30th, Thomas attended an early birthday party in her honor thrown by co-workers from Bosley Medical Center in San Francisco, after which she stopped in an ATM on Foothill Boulevard in downtown Hayward and then returned home to the Riverside Terrace Apartments at 1754 B Street. She was seen washing clothes about 10 p.m. and was last seen leaving her apartment that night. Her four-year-old daughter was staying with Noel's mother, and she was to pick her up the next day. Noel reported her missing three days later. So even with these, this updated article, it's different circumstances. So these, this answers my question um, about where the child was. So apparently, Grandma was babysitting with the uh, the little girl, and um, Latoya did not come and pick her up. You would think, though, if the the grandmother was babysitting, that she would have called the police if she hadn't heard from her daughter. Like, that's bizarre in and of itself. And now this says that Noel reported her missing three days later. Um, so I don't, I, I don't really understand, you know, what, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm reading this all wrong. So the four-year-old daughter was staying with Noel's mother, so the boyfriend's mother. And so Latoya was supposed to pick her up the next day. And then Noel reported her missing three days later. So still, that's bizarre. Even if she was staying with the boyfriend's mother, um, why wouldn't somebody decide that they needed to call the police or file a missing persons um, report? This baby is staying, you know, somewhere that is not home with a non-biological person uh, or relative. And, you know, the boyfriend decides that it takes him three days to, to report her missing. That does not make any sense. Um, Toya's gray 1986 so we, we finally have clarity on the, the car uh, was found a few days later in the 900 block of B Street with her purse on the front seat according to the police um, her disappearance was classified as a missing persons case under suspicious circumstances we don't have enough to, facts to determine if Thomas is a homicide victim or dead Noel was never named as a suspect but the disappearance was highly suspicious and he said it is going to be open until we have some sense that it's not going to be open anymore Noel became the focus of Concord Police on May 18th. Police responded to a Moore Lane apartment at 318 and found Aikens had been shot multiple times. Police issued a description of Noel, her boyfriend, including that he was considered armed and dangerous and possibly suicidal. He was believed to have fled in a silver four-door 2003 Cadillac CTS with tinted windows and damage to the front bumper and right side. That vehicle has not been recovered. The investigation moved to Southern California. The U.S. Marshal Service's Regional Fugitive Task Force in Los Angeles learned that Noel might be at a restaurant in La Miranda, not southwest of downtown Los Angeles. 
When officers confronted Noel, he pulled and fired a 45 caliber revolver at them and they returned fire, according to the sheriff's office. Concord police believe that the weapon may have been used in Aiken's death, but that has not been confirmed pending further analysis. Concord police will complete their investigation within a few weeks. And LA area authorities are investigating the shooting in which Noel died. So there you have it. So this, the, 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 la the last person to have seen Latoya um, died in 2007 at the hands of police after pulling a gun. He was suspected in the death of his another girlfriend who was found dead, as you just heard. And Latoya is still missing. So when I read the Charlie Project uh, information, you know, I feel like my gut check was correct. Um, I, we now have more information about where, you know, the child was during the time she wasn't in school. Obviously, she was staying with the boyfriend's mother, which, you know, may or may not be odd. Um, but the fact that the, the mother never came to collect the child and never showed up um, would be a red flag for me. I, I don't know that I would be babysitting anyone's child and they never show up, never, you know, call. I don't hear from them again. And um, I'm not pressed about calling the police. So I don't know exactly what happened with that. It seems odd to me, but, you know, OK. And then the boyfriend, I don't know if like what was he doing? Was he waiting on her to come back? That's just if, if someone if someone does not have those characteristics has never disappeared before. Why would you wait for three days? You know, Charlie Project, I think, says one day. But this article that's been updated in 2007 says three days. So you waited until I, I don't know when um, to call. And it's just a few days before her car is located missing. So, you know, I do think that the police probably had a suspicion that um, this Noel person was complicit in Latoya's disappearance and probably her demise, but just did not have the physical um, proof to substantiate that and therefore to make an arrest. I'm sorry that they didn't get a chance to do that because had they arrested him and had he been sufficiently prosecuted for Latoya's disappearance and uh, presumed uh, demise, it may have saved this other woman from even getting involved with him and therefore meeting her death at his hands. So now we have two women who have come in contact with this person um, and it did not end well for either of them. If you have any updates to this story, please list it below. If you have any information about Latoya, Natasha Thomas, please contact the Hayward Police Department, 510-293-7034. I'll leave that information below. If you have any corrections to this story, please, please make sure that you list it below as well. It's never my intention to disparage or present misleading or incorrect information. It really is my heart and my hope that we can reunite the missing and the lost with their families in one way or the other. As always, my prayers and my thoughts goes out to those who have missing or lost loved ones. And I pray that at some point you find closure and peace. Y'all be blessed.